same time. Yeah. Yeah. If everyone could find a seat, we'll make a start. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Amsterdam. Good to see all these familiar faces uh, in the Dutch capital. We had, uh, uh, I'll meet you, I think, three times. So this is the press conference after the Eurogroup. Then we'll have another press conference at the end of the afternoon. We'll have another press conference tomorrow. So if you get fed up, you know, let me know and we'll bring it down to less. Let me debrief you on the uh, uh, Eurogroup. Um, many of us already uh, were in uh, Washington, of course, at the IMF spring uh, meetings, discussing the state of play in the global economy, rising risks uh, on the basis of the uh, advice and analysis of the IMF. The good news, uh, however, for major economies, and this also goes for the Eurozone economy, is that uh, our economy has weathered global, global events quite well. I believe we're still on the right track with economic growth that is broad-based, stronger supervision of banks, and signs that investment is starting to pick up throughout the Eurozone. Having said that, on that positive note, let's uh, first turn to Greece which took uh, the major part of our time today. We discussed the uh, state of play on the first review of the ESM uh, program and next steps uh, to be taken. Cooperation between the uh, institutions and uh, the Greek authorities has been strong and productive, uh, but the institutions will uh, say more about that. Um, we believe that substantial progress has been made um, nearing the open issues, uh, reducing the number of open issues, close to an agreement on a number of key areas such as the pension reform, the income tax reform, NPL strategy, uh, the establishment of the privatization fund. On some issues more work will have to be done to fully uh, conclude that, uh, but we are very close. Um, today we uh, looked and clarified at the way to go forward to uh, also bridge uh, the issue which is about insecurity of uh, forecasts and confidence that we can have in the implementation of what has been agreed. Uh, we came to uh, the conclusion that the policy package should include a contingent package of additional measures that would be implemented only if necessary uh, to reach the primary surplus target uh, for 2018. Contingency mechanism needs to be credible, uh, legislated up front, automatic, and be based on objective factors which would trigger these uh, uh, contingent uh, uh, measures. That needs further work, the design of that how it would work, uh, what the kind of measures would be and what would trigger it. And uh, I'm happy to say that uh, with the uh, commitment of the Greek minister to work on that constructively uh, and as quickly as possible, the institutions have said that they stand ready uh, to work uh, as quickly as possible in the, coming, in the coming days on this contingency mechanism. On that basis, uh, if we have the package which needs to be done and delivered up front, if we have the contingency uh, package uh, and the mechanism uh, to support that, we can have a further Eurogroup next Thursday. This is not for sure yet, but we are aiming to have that next Thursday to then come to a positive conclusion on those two elements, so the upfront package and a contingency package, uh, and have a serious discussion on debt, debt sustainability. As you know, we have a long-standing promise which was reaffirmed during the summer agreement that if necessary and on the condition that the Greek government uh, fully delivers on what has been agreed in the program, if necessary, we stand ready to consider more measures to assure debt sustainability. The ministers today have uh, given us a mandate to work on that, to make the uh, analysis of that and to prepare possibilities. 
uh, within, of course, some limitations. Uh, to mention uh, two main ones, uh, there is no support in the Eurogroup for nominal haircuts uh, on the debt, and uh, what uh, we will design and propose needs to stay within the, the agreement uh, of last summer. So uh, we will look at possibilities of reprofiling and, if necessary, uh, possible additional measures uh, looking at maturities and grace periods as outlined in the agreement this summer. Um, and hopefully we will meet then again next Thursday to bring those elements all together and come to a political agreement which would be very important for Greece and for the Eurozone. Secondly, let me go on in our agenda. The second item was uh, work we're doing on insolvency frameworks, very important for uh, strengthening of our economies, dealing with our banks, um, opening uh, space for new investments throughout the Eurozone, insolvency frameworks. It's of course also an issue for the EU28, so the follow-up that we will give uh, on that issue will also be on the agenda in the ECOFIN uh, in some months. We've asked the Commission to uh, do further work on that to improve the quality of the data that we have uh, and to develop uh, an approach uh, aimed at improving uh, the effectiveness of national frameworks, uh, trying to uh, reach convergence at a high level in speed, affordability and predictability of insolvency uh, procedures. Um, so on the uh, work that done, is done so, for, uh, so far, the Commission will do more on uh, improving the quality of data and developing a method of benchmarking on insolvency frameworks. Finally, on the SSM, we welcome Danielle Nui, the chair of the uh, Single Supervisory Mechanism to the Eurogroup. She uh, regularly joins the Eurogroup to present to us uh, the state of play in the SSM. Today, she presented the annual report. Uh, she informed us about the execution of the supervisory tasks of the SSM. She spoke specifically on the many options and national discretions that are still in our banks and in our bank um, uh, legislation and regulations. Uh, she's making a lot of progress uh, within, uh, from the SSM. Also work needs to be done by legislators, so the Commission will work on that and put forward proposals to uh, improve our level playing field for our banking union. Those were the key uh, issues as far as I'm concerned. Pierre. Merci, Yeroun, ou peut-être...